guys and welcome back to my kitchen today i will be showing you how to cook chicken mediterranean style um first you get the chicken and you clean it up i've gotten a head start so i'll show you where i am right now but after you clean your chicken you're going to want to boil it and you're going to see this white stuff come up and that is the chicken dirt and um uh, that's the first part as you're boiling it so you're gonna scoop that out and then uh, toss it away and um once you are done with it you want to add an onion and some laurel leaves and um cardamom a couple of cardamom if you have any around and cloves um, if you have not made you can also add toss it in as well um okay so this is how my chicken looks once i've cleaned up the um um, all the nasty stuff that the dirt, dirt that was in it and um, uh, oh, so you now got next step is for you to add an onion uh, and some bay leaves and cardamom I'll show you how those look like so here I have the rest of my onion saved I didn't put a bowl because my onion was too big and that's cardamom I buy it by the pound that's from the Arabic store nearby um, bay leaves and uh, cloves and I'm using whole everything um, also if you have nutmeg you can add some and if you have the cinnamon sticks you can also throw those in the broth so this is how my broth looks like so now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna lower it sitting for like low to medium and I will just cover my chicken and let it uh, cook and once it's cooked um i will check back again and with you so we can do the next steps hey guys so this is my chicken it's been cooking for about 15 minutes and um i am poking it with the fork and it seems so tender that means that it is well cooked so the next step is to transfer it into a big um uh, tray and preheat the oven on uh, 400 degrees um so that's what i'm gonna do uh preheating my oven and I'm gonna transfer this right now. Take in to um, a, a glass tray because we're gonna put it in the oven. Now I gotta add my salt and pepper and spices. So I haven't added any salt when I was um, cooking it because um, it uh, salt slows down the uh, cooking of the chicken. So I'm just gonna add salt, pepper. And after that, I'm gonna coat it with my seven spice that I've made for you guys before. And if you don't have this recipe yet, um, please check out my description below. It will show you how to make your um, Mediterranean, your very own Mediterranean seven or Middle Eastern seven spices. And um, okay. So I'm gonna do that on the on the other flip it and do it on the other side and we'll come back for the rest. Okay, so the next step is to coat it with yogurt. Um, usually Greek yogurt or, or any yogurt um, does a great deal of great taste when you coat it, coat your chicken with. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and coat it all over evenly with yogurt. And after I coat each side with yogurt, I'm going to add some red wine uh, for it to brown nicely and uh, browns nicely in the oven and have a nice taste to have that sweet and, um, uh, and uh, savory taste. It's perfect. And uh, finish coating the entire chicken with the yogurt. As you can see, it's falling off. It's very tender. Um, so... Um, uh, it's really hard to handle it so now I'm gonna I don't have any cooking wine so I'm gonna pop out some fine wine and uh, in here and I'll just um, drench my chicken in it so I'm just gonna just you know add a couple drops of wine as you can see and I think we're about done that gives it a really nice toasty taste and now I'm just gonna pop it in the oven and I'll let it um, roast or um, uh, really broil uh, for uh, 10 to 15 minutes 
then we'll come back and check. This is the final product for my rotisserie chicken after taking it out from the oven. I'll be serving it next to uh, my oven baked uh, stuffed peppers. Um, yeah, as you can see, this is my version of the rotisserie chicken made at home. It's very yummy and healthy and um, you get to choose what type of what goes into your chicken and you choose um, what type of chicken i use organic chicken from whole foods with no antibiotics at all so i know it's it's like the, the best uh, ethically sourced meat i can uh, i can have and uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed this let me know in the comments below if you need to see any more other recipes in the future and thank you for watching